guys rc here welcome back episode 18 of football manager 19 our long-term save with infield town united hometown hero series and uh catching up after the leatherhead uh, loss and started us on our run of bad form we beat tunbridge two to one alistair gilby our relief striker came in as a super sub Two goals in a four-minute span to salvage a victory. Then we lost to Harlow 3-0. Uh, yeah, not good. We should have won that game. We, and we were actually favored to win that game. And then Breitling see another bottom of the table that uh, we were underdogs to, that we were the... Uh, on the downside, uh, we were a player up just after the half, and then we ended up jo having Joshua Webb sent off. And, oh, man, Billy Hunt with a brace in a 10-minute span. Osini got a set-piece goal late, but we fell one one uh, goal short. And then we beat Margate 2-1, to one, Dar Danny Harrison and Adam Ramadan, both with goals. Uh, Ramadan with the game winner after we let Fondup score. So we're coming back. We're in the final four of the regular season. We are sitting at third, two points behind Bishop Stortford, and seven down to Whitehawk with four to play. I wanted to go back. Here we go, this email. So top three teams. We've already clinched a playoff berth, so we're in the playoffs. Uh, for the second year in a row. So that's positive, I hope. Uh, but if we take a look, Whitehawk uh, has a pretty easy schedule. Uh, then uh, Bishop Stortford uh, plays Eastbourne Borough and then three of the top seven teams. And we play three of the top nine teams and then Chatham in 16th. But we've been in such bad form, that means absolutely nothing. Uh, I did, I did get a contract extension. Uh, they would only give me a one-year deal. So 52000 per year, 38000 after taxes. A uh, little bit of a pay cut for me here. Uh, not on the contract, but just, you know, real life. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I do get a 15% raise if we go up. 35% pay cut if we go down and we've extended through the end of the 2021 season. With that one year extension, as I mentioned last episode, I, I went ahead and made a couple of moves. Now, Junior Mabaye ended up going to Barton on a free. Uh, that was okay. He hadn't played a lot for us anyway. I ended up signing four players. <laughs> so uh, David Blackwood comes to us from Boston United. He's a loney. He can play all three back positions. And uh, so he has already played one start and two reserve appearances. Not playing the best, but it's still early, and I think he's going to be okay. Um, I was just looking for depth, just we, you know, we're hemorrhaging at this point. Kenny Coton uh, is on loan from Braintree. He's a defensive mid, and he can play that Volante position. Decent physicals, good positioning, work rate's all right, decisions are all right, bravery, aggression, not important. Technicals, they could be better. Uh, Katie James is another loney, comes to us from Hastings. He is a left winger. That allows us to move Adam back to the right side on occasion or at least have coverage uh, if we need. He's got pace, acceleration. Uh, he's decent at crossing, so he's all right. Two, reserve, two uh, appearances off the bench, playing okay. Uh, and then I signed... Tim Akinola, and he is another left mid winger. 
and decent physicals, but he is actually going to move into the starting uh, lineup. Uh, he just joined the club uh, recently, just the last couple of days on the 6th. Well, that's when we signed him. And so this is the first match. So he should make his debut this match. Also, if you've noticed, uh, I do the, uh, I have it set up with, with uh, some guidelines on how to pick the roster. Uh, so I went in and I was looking at it because I was like, it, it doesn't seem to be starting the guys lately that I want. And what I guess happened is because I have it set for the general manager to sign contracts. This past season, the general manager's contract ran out. We re-signed him, but when that happened, it rebooted everything in the uh, staff settings. So I had a guy that was not very good picking my starting side. So I've updated that to a much, much better staff member. And we'll take a look real quick. So if we look right here, I think it had, well, Paul Driver was the one picking, and he's got a six and a five in judging ability and potential. Well, my seat, my uh, head of youth development, Johnny McDonald, is 12 and 11. So that's who I want actually picking. So I've changed it up to him. But let's get into the matches today. This one, we're playing Whitehawk. We are at home. <sighs> I'm not feeling confident here. So 548 tickets sold. I'm, I'm excited to see Osai next year. But, oh well. They are the favorites, 62 and Breezy. I am going to go with the anchor position. And there's Akinola making his debut. Ramadan back to the right side. Johnson, who played on the right side last match, after coming back from his three-match suspension, is back into the middle. Honestly, this is probably the most full strength we've been in quite some time so let's get to it hopefully we can pull an upset that this anchor tactic is really set up to be more of a defensive when you're when you're the under when you're not favored um Wow, we're 15th in the standings in recent form. Yeah, let's, you know, it's time to step your game up, boys. All right, we're in the white and blue kits, White Hawk in the red. Oh, my God. I thought that was going to be a red card in the first minute. I'm not happy with these center backs. Oh, the flood knocks it away with a save. All right, Awika has it knocked back right into the center. We clear it out for a throw-in. All right, Akinola. Ooh, look at the curve on that, and it just goes over the top bends. Oh, he looked dangerous, though. He looked dangerous right there. All right, I'm going to encourage the boys. All right, back to Osini, Webb, Osini, back to McLean. McLean just gives it away. Piss poor touch. Oh, my God. Flood does well to get some hands on it. Crossed in, headed out. Looks like they called a foul there. Okay, Goldberg with the set piece. And that's going to be a penalty. I don't know who it was on. Crap. <sighs> Shit. 
We are not. Oh, flood goes the complete and utter wrong way. Derry goes to the sideline and makes Mary his 16th goal of the season. Uh, demand more. Oh, my God. Nabay? Oh, that was a rocket. Very Cristiano Ronaldo-esque with that blast. All right, there's my shout. Too little, too late. Oh, they are eating us alive. And the problem is, I just don't even know what to do. I have no clue what to do. All right, I'm going to put you. No. No, I want you on support. You're on attack. I'm going to put you to leave you on attack for overlaps. And I'm going to drop a little lower. <sighs> Three, nothing. I mean, this could get really ugly. We could lose this six or seven to nothing with the way we're playing. Not good. Four shots, two on target. I mean, we're looking good with possession. Just no chances, man. No chances. Disappointing. Um, yeah, not happy with your defensive work. Uh, you can improve. And you can improve. It's still really weird having all these these player movements where guys are just coming in and pilfering players off of your club at all points of the season. All right, a week into Webb. Webb out to Ramadan. Back to Webb, loses it to Wiltshire, Goldberg, oh, luckily he shot that one wide. We had the defenders there, but they just gave him that edge for the opening. All right, Akinola, oh, what a shot, what a shot, Tim Akinola, his third goal of the season First for infield in his debut. That was a brilliant shot. All right, I am going to bring that Osini guy. I just he's he's agitating me. By Tiki. Yeah, let's bring him on for Thompson. Come on, boys. All right, demand more. Focused. Motivated. Come on, boys. All right, let's go. All right, uh, Harris.
Harrison is struggling. Gilby had a good run off the bench last match, so we'll bring him in. Nothing. Akinola headed on. So we played pretty decently. I mean, we came back there. We maintained possession. Eight long shots. That just wasn't good. We gave them four chances. All right, disappointing. All right. Well, with four matches to play, we were technically still alive to win the league and get the automatic promotion. That is out the window now. All right. Folkstone gets a playoff spot. Akinola, his debut. And he looked dangerous. He looked like a good he looked like a good solid player. So very happy to have him on. Uh, we have been scouting, but none of these guys, I mean, are, are affordable. 28000 a year, 34. I just, you know, could not bring myself to do that. All right, let's come back uh, in a few minutes for the Cheshire match. And, yeah, it looks like Bishop Stortford won again. So we're five points down. We're actually even with Hastings now. God, we are just falling fast. All right, seven days. See you guys back here in a second. All right, guys, we are back for our second match. We have not played Cheshire yet this year. I thought we played everybody twice. Did we play them twice down the stretch? No. Chatham. Oh, there's Cheshire. We drew with him. What? Oh. Well, I didn't know what you wanted. My wife bought me a sheet. Yay. All right. Uh, team selection. Uh, they are favorites. We are on the road. Decent weather. I am going to go with our more attacking. Don't know why. We looked just we we looked decent last last match out. Um, yeah, not gonna play Osini this match. I want Blackwood in there, and we can put Osini on the. bench Thompson I'm going to bring box in and we have Asiana on the bench we'll go with that do I want Brignell up top Harrison has really struggled. Let's uh, let's give Bricknell a start. And um, Gilby. God, I wish he was eligible. You know what? I'm going to... Oh, do I do that? I think so. I'm going to put Jack Hockney on the bench. He's got a little pace. He's got solid finishing. Hasn't played much. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine! Everybody has match fitness issues. All right. I'm going to go aggressive. I'm expecting you to win today, boys. Pressure. Pressure. All right. 
Maybe we ought to come out in the pink uniforms. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, no. Shit. It was already in the net before the keeper dove for it. Sucks. God, that was horrific. Definitely. I think the decline here in the latter part of the season directly coincides with our starting keeper leaving us. Which, when we were at top of the table, oh, Alec, oh, taking down Webb. Get it in there. What a shot, Brandon Adams, number 23. Poor clearance. Come on, boys. I'm just really surprised that our keeper left when we were at the top of the table. Akinola into the mixer. Webb. It's offsides. No, it's good. Yes. It's good. <laughs> Two to one. Akinola looking dangerous. We've signed him to a contract. Oh, Webb got his foot on the ball. Brilliant. Uh oh. Martin Box picked up a yellow card. Come on, boys. Oh, that looked just like our goal. <laughs> oh, no. First goal of the season, it looked just like ours. God, set pieces at this level are so horrific. I wish I had alcohol in there. So we're in a draw, and we drop to fourth position. Oh, my God, no. <laughs> oh, you suck. You suck. I'm sorry, Flood. You're horrible. Horrible. Oh, man, that was horrific. Oh, that was utter shit. That was horrible. Um, yeah, disappointing. Uh, assertive. I am not happy with your performance. Oh, watch your step. Watch your step. Do I sub him off? The problem is, I don't have anybody that's, I mean, literally, I have no other keeper. I, I have other keepers, but I have nobody that's even remotely close to his level. I gave some thought to signing another keeper. I just felt that at that point, we needed... Come on. And you just turn around and walk off? What kind of crap is that? Oh, and you're running backwards. Fuck. Shit. Um, First touch, handling one-on-ones is eight. You know what? Yeah, screw it. I'm benching him. You're coming on. A four point. I, I, I didn't even know that was possible. All right. Yeah, da, 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 da. Yeah, you're off. A four 
of four and a half. That's pathetic. Oh, and there's... Oh, Webb gets sent off with his second yellow card. Oh, this game has just gotten away from us. All right. Show some passion. Just. Now we're 10 men. Oh, shit. Paul Walker. I actually had I actually had some hope for this match. I mean he throws it in, nobody's on him, he throws it almost over the guy's head. That guy taps it back so hard it almost goes out of bounds. Oh, two goals in the first 28 minutes. I was feeling so good. McLean was horrible. Uh, dressing room. Oh, yeah, you played a 5-9. Yep, we're disciplining you. Yep, we're calling you out in front of everybody else. Martin Box. Oh. I can't talk to individual players here. Uh, yep, then we're going to go full-on aggressive. Not happy with the result. And I need to McLean and Box. Oh, I can do it now? Aggressive, not pleased, and McLean, aggressive, very unhappy. Oh, is he fired up? Motivated, whatever, dumbass, not happy with that shit. Oh my god.